especially the product based companies focus more on the problem solving system design area meet vikas he is currently working at microsoft but what makes this session even more exciting is that he has also gone through the adobe interview process can you share your resume and highlight what essential to include uh, definitely i will share my resume but uh, three four things that i want to highlight especially preparing alone so did you face any major challenges so frankly speaking not that much but you know uh, preparing with the jobs it's also not an easy thing in this video we will discuss his step by step preparation courses he has done his resume and his adobe interview experience so vikas thank you for joining now you are already working at microsoft and and also has adobe interview experience till last round tell us your step by step preparation for adobe yeah uh thanks uh, shruti uh, for inviting me uh, for this experience sharing journey so uh, when i was preparing like a uh, four year before for these all big mnc you know uh, so i uh, started my preparation by myself uh, right uh, and uh, uh, i i was regular and consistent for my preparation during that time right i know these all big companies uh, or these mnc and especially the product based companies focus more on the problem solving system design area but uh, if you, uh, we will talk in terms about adobe so adobe also have some unique thing that they discuss in the interview like operating systems and networking as right and couple of the puzzles right so uh, for adobe uh, preparation i focus my 70% time on the data structures uh, problem solving and system design apart from it i also focus on the operating systems computer fundamentals oops concept computer networking and projects as well all the preparation i did by myself only um, uh, i follow up a lot of online resources as well like lead code you know geeks for geeks glass door and past interview experience of adobe as well i went through all those i uh, covered all the like uh, uh, questions those uh, they discuss in the past and that were really helpful for me as well in that process so like you told you were preparing alone so did you face any major challenges or problem during this journey of preparing alone for big tech companies yeah so frankly speaking not that much but you know uh, preparing with the jobs it's also not an easy thing so we need to be consistent and motivated but my final goal is to land in a good mnc right you know the fang and mang company uh, everyone have their dream so that was also my dream as well that motivate me i was regular uh, i eagerly apply in these all companies but uh, sometimes even i was initially i was not getting calls but yeah, after that i got multiple calls from these all companies and adobe was one that was also uh, one of my big success during that time hmm. great great so now like that you have a a lot of experience in big tech companies like you have given interview in big tech companies so what projects have you worked on which helped you crack these big companies or which you thought made an impact during an interview yeah great questions and it's also matter and especially in the hiring manager and director round right uh, these these uh, projects play key yeah. role and even adobe focus on that area and uh, uh, like uh, i i uh, work initially in the uh, indian based company right indian startups uh, indian e-commerce company like uh, uh, snapdeal and all during that time so the good thing uh, that was in my favor that i worked in so many projects from scratch during that time right so i work uh, on a ship together projects i work on a upi and kyc services in digital wallet uh, market and i also integrated so many payment gateways in my company and good thing was i was leading these all things so from whole software development life cycle starting from the designing to development to testing and deployment and uh, gathering the feedback then implementing those things right and whole software development life cycle of these all micro services from scratch i was involved so those product pro- project i present in front of these managers and director and they went uh, into the test and because the scale of the project was also uh, like designed right uh, it was in millions and uh, during that time so it like you know like if the user feedback is uh, you are getting regularly in your projects uh, uh, you have a real time users that create more impacts yeah so someone who wants to work in big tech companies they must have uh, hands on experience and real life projects on their resume yes moving on can you share your resume and highlight what essential to include so that recruiters take notice since a resume is something what sells us so what do you think it makes us a strong resume 
उड नॉलेज uh operating systems computer networking because they also deal in a software plus they have a lot of work related to hardware integration in their end so they focus on these all areas that your resume contains these are key things and in most of the times you will find these things in their jds as well they 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 require these all skills uh and someone who is holding c++ and java and any other project uh, object oriented programming language that's add on for us okay sir so lastly Everybody is waiting for this question. How was your Adobe interview experience? Yeah. So uh, for Adobe, uh, when like a uh, recruiter reached out to me over LinkedIn and uh, I shared my uh, resume to them, and I think next week uh, they reach out like they want to see the uh, interview process with me. So they told me very first day there will be two rounds, right, uh, all together, and if uh, I will be able uh, able to clear those two rounds, then there will be third round on day itself. Okay. So my interview process okay. start uh, with uh, round one. So two interviewer join, and the uh, round one was more focused towards the problem solving, data structure, and uh, Java programming languages, right. So initially uh, uh, this round one started with my introduction, right. uh then after that uh, they started with dsa questions questions were lead code medium uh, or lead code is a uh, kind of complexity in those questions and one question i remember that was related to tree like a bottom view of binary tree and the second was related to some array questions like uh, two sum array problems right so that kind of questions uh, they discussed after that uh, they went depth in the uh, syntax uh, kind of uh, Uh, patterns I am following in my code and uh, Java specific questions in depth, like static variable. Were, I remember correctly. They ask in depth, like static variable. What's the use of static variables? Classes, methods uh, in the my programs and how these things are different. Then at the end, uh, uh, they ask the question related to monolithic versus microservices approach, right? So and even after that, the uh, second person, right, who was uh, doing shadowing. at the end he only uh, discuss about the uh, advantage and disadvantage of monolithic versus microservices and what will be my uh, view right which approach is better so i, I already explained because both of us have their pros and cons but nowadays uh, microservice in trend but yeah i i shared my uh, view on that so that was r1 after that they not shared any feedback and just after two hours they see those the round two with me right and again round two was more focused towards the problem solving only right and the questions related to lead code uh, ag and medium kind of things there uh, one questions related to majority element in array and second question related to linked list right so copy a uh, linked list with random pointer right so then they discuss they were discussing about the optimize approach and all all possible approaches possible i discuss with them and then uh, they started with uh, this internal implementation of hasmap right so they went into the but in the as we have different types of as we have what's the user it's concurrent as map right in depth they went and then uh, the last question i remember that was related to the computer networking thing right so when we type www.google.com in our browser uh, how this entire call happened right from our browser to internet service provider to uh, server and finally how we get that knowledge so whole uh, life cycle of that call uh, so these were round one and round two and uh, after that like after one or two hour that recruiter called me uh, that you cleared the both the rounds now uh, we are going with your round 3 okay. right so and that was uh, like a uh, little bit focused towards the system design area okay that round so in the system design we started discussion with the uh, the my past experience only initially when the interviewer joined they they discussed about my past experience first and uh, they started with a problem called url sort right so how we can implement the url sort now right so that's a famous problem as well even i practiced with that problem earlier so i was aware but uh, the interviewer went uh, went in depth and uh, we were focusing about the scalability availability of the systems right and uh, some of the design patterns questions he also asked Like factory versus abstract uh, factory design pattern was one problem during that time. 
and uh, some memory management techniques as well uh, that we use and uh, oops concept like basic questions he also asked like a difference between uh, interface as an abstract class that kind of questions mm -hmm. and in last is he focus on the solid principles with me so uh, mm -hmm. these are questions were there in the third round and uh, then uh, uh, for that particular day the process were complete uh, then uh, recruiter told me uh, that uh, in day or two they will uh, call back to me right then after two days uh, the again i got call from the same recruiter that yeah you cleared all three rounds uh, till now and uh, there will be one more round with the hiring manager right no. so the hiring manager round uh, also they should do it and uh, that was nearby one hour or uh, 10 minutes one hour 15 minutes during that time that was like a more than an hour this hiring manager also started with the project discussions only and uh, he asked me to select one project from my resume right till now i work which is the best project in uh, what impactful work i did in my past uh, so he went and uh, he asked all the questions uh why you took this approach but uh, like uh, he was more focusing towards the approach what difficulty i faced during that implementation and uh, how i contributed particularly in that particular area and uh, what impact that project uh, create finally right and some logging and telemetric side of things so how users are using what's the adoption of that project so we were more focused towards that uh, then uh, next questions uh, like because our discussion was going around the logging and telemetry line only so we started asking questions related to logging to me right so which kind of different different logging level we have uh, and uh, how we can implement a logger and all right that kind of questions he gave us after that uh, he uh, discussed question related to synchronous versus asynchronous programming to me right and uh, uh, what what all uh, uh, ways i use asynchronous programming till now some queuing technique uh, he also discussed with me so i used in my past and two questions related to leadership principle he discussed uh, one was related to uh, 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 conflict resolutions right so in my day to day jobs if i am facing any conflict i am resolving it right okay. if let's say two teams or two person do, do, they both are not on same page so how we are resolving those conflicts that was one question. So after these all conflict resolution uh, thing, uh, then uh, he focus uh, more towards the why I want to change, right? Why I want to uh, domain change and all. So I answered those questions as well. So after okay. that, the tutor called me that yeah, you cleared uh, this round as well, but there will be one more round with the senior director, right? And uh, very uh, next day, uh, they schedule that round uh, with the director. And uh, the discussion start and again, the director went uh, uh, direct about my projects, you know, what kind of work I did and uh, same kind of questions, why I want to change, right? Uh, and all, what kind of meaningful work I did till now that he was noticing there. Uh, he asked two, three questions uh, related to technology as well. One was service discovery, right? And uh, some questions related to scalability, system availability, horizontal versus vertical scaling. Uh, have I uh, ever used these techniques so, uh, during production issue? Have I apply any kind of scalability in the systems and all? Those things uh, he mostly focusing. Uh, then uh, some questions related to behavioral round as well. Uh, he focus uh, there. Uh, and uh, very last questions was some mathematical puzzle he gave me. Uh, let's say in a row and we have a ball, right? With some given radius. So what will be the remaining space, right? So that kind of questions he discussed. Um, yeah. So these all were the five rounds there. And after I think uh, one week. Uh, Late uh, uh, after this discussion, this recruiter reached out to me that you are you cleared all this. It was great having you here with us, and I really hope we will meet soon here in studio, and we will record your Microsoft experience as well. Thank you so much for giving us time. This video will be really helpful for all the tech uh, tech people who are aspiring to work in a great and big companies like Adobe, Microsoft, and whatnot.